What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am bringing you a 442 diamond that is simply just explosive. This 442 diamond has been sent in by my main mod Nav. We have a look today, break it down and just see how it does with some of the best teams in the world and the championship side as well. Let's get into it. So here we go then, here is the tactic on screen now for you. 442, a narrow diamond we're going for today. Sent in by Nav. We'll have a quick rundown of each position, the individual player instructions, then we'll go through that tactical style, looking at the in possession, in transition, and out of possession. So, yeah, let's start in goal. Starting off with the sweeper keeper on support, he is told to tackle harder. That keeper will be rushing out, putting in them hard challenges. We move over to this right back position now. Ball back on attack. You know, the cross aim center, dribble more often, run wide with the ball, shoot more often, to sit narrower, and to tackle harder, which is that the same. We'll see on this left hand side here it's that same thing there all back both on attack pushing forward supporting that forward line look at the center backs here you can see here just here you can see popping up now subscribe button yeah, down below the video yeah subscribe button if you want your center backs to perform yeah subscribe button right now give the video a thumbs up way down there why don't you why don't you so yeah center backs there's no individual instructions there is no individual instructions for your center backs central defenders on defend simple as you like as we move forward now into this halfback role here, sitting just in front of the defence, that position is told to shoot less often and tackle harder. So we move forward now onto our own playmakers, and just to make sure you're aware, they do have different instructions. Keep an eye on that. Your right hand side one will have the dribble more, run wide with the ball, shoot more often, and move in the channels. Both of our own playmakers, interesting field to this tactic. So uh, you'll see shortly though how they got. But the one on the left hand side here is told actually to tackle harder compared to the right hand side one. This one is told to tackle harder, so do keep an eye on that. Moving forward then into your shadow striker role now. The shadow striker is on attack, of course, and he is told to shoot more often and roam from position. We go now into your forward line. First off, with the target forward on attack, who again is told to shoot more often and tackle harder. And then finally, we go into that right hand side striker, the advanced forward on attack, of course. We've told to more direct passes take more risks dribble more and shoot more often so you're probably thinking by now you show us the results how does this tactic work can it win me the league title in whatever league i'm in well the answer to that is yes but first let's have a look at the tactical style and just see how the play is done with in possession out of possession and of course in transition so we go through this now quickly you see here the mentality is set to attacking we've told the players for shorter passing playing out of the defense whipped crosses work the ball into the box and we have a higher tempo so the higher tempo there with that shorter passing just work great with the own playmakers we're going out into transition this simple one counter press and counter that's all we're asking we're not asking no goalkeeping possession not asking for distribution to a certain area we'll let the keeper decide that himself and we go now into the out of possession you see it here now on screen higher defensive line higher line of engagement and of course much more often and use tighter marking within those gang and press style tactics you need that pressing you need the press so we'll get to what you've been waiting for you want to see what we've been doing and who we've been doing it with we're already at Leipzig already so let's get to the first one let's show you what happens within one season this tactic I'll be Leipzig so we've come back now end of the season you can see here Leipzig didn't win the league they were very close. The only team actually challenging Bayern the entire season. 81 points, only losing three games all season. Bayern only lost one game all season. And that game, of course, was to Leipzig, losing 2 0 to us. So that's one positive coming from it. And the other positive, look at Dortmund's point total there 61 compared to the 81 of Leipzig. 20 points clear, third in the league. And of course, the other big one there is Andre Silva. I mean, Living Dust, okay, 39 goals, absolutely unreal. But in second place, Andre Silva on 27, ahead of Haaland. He's not bad for someone who played 33 games, 27 goals the entire season for Andre Silva. I mean, next up, we had Paulson up there as well. Played 23, 7 from the bench, got 13 goals. So not as many, but Andre Silva, an absolute beast this season for Leipzig. Flying in with the goals, his valuation shot of massively as well. So it's a great first season with this tactic. Fishing second. Of course, there's no league title, but you can't win them all. You can't win them all. We're going to some individuals quickly and have a quick look how they've been performing this season as well. So there's a few honourable mentions. Firstly, with Leipzig, you can see here on Kunko, what a season he had. Starting majority of the games, 18 goals on Kunko in that shadow striker role this season with nine assists in there. You see Forsberg played, played a few of those as well. 13 goals for him, 12 assists. We move on to the fact that well, Slazerboy got a massive seven goals 
and 12 assists as well. But to mention as well, the Golden Glove this season did go to our keeper as well. If we do go back here, we can see here now. Peter in net got 17 clean sheets ahead of Emmanuel Neuer. Considering they won the league and only lost one game as well, getting more clean sheets than them as well. He's massive. It shows the defensive attributes of this tactic. And going forward, it does get goals. We go a bit deep now. You can see how many goals actually got this season. In total, a monster 82 goals. It's nowhere near Bayern's, but Bayern, Bayern is ridiculous, let's face it. But ahead of Dortmund and everyone below them, by an absolute massive margin here. Exceeding 27, and exceeding one more goal compared to Bayern, who won the title this season, which is absolutely huge in my eyes, really. Exceeding five to Bayern, though, probably wasn't great. We're going to go on now and check the next team in his tactic. We come back in now. Blackburn Rovers taking the test up next. The championship side. With a low prediction, you can see the players there looking at trying to get Breton Diaz in the target forward role firing this season for them. They predicted to actually finish down here in 7th in the league table. This is going to surprise a lot of people. They don't finish 7th. We're going to have a look, shall we? So we've come back in now. You can see the season has ended. Blackburn Rovers won the championship. They won with a monster 27 victories, 13 draws and only 6 defeats the entire season. Scoring 88 goals. Conceding 46. Uh, a few more than Leipzig did, but very good and overall 94 points for the season absolute monster of a season for them you see here ben Breton got a total of 27 goals in total throughout the season what a season he's had in the championship with this tactic he's worked very very well for blackburn rovers we've jumped in now into the goal scoring charts for the season see here Breton got a total of 26 goals within his 40 appearances this season a goal every 190 minutes also making the scoring charts joining him up front was sam gallagher just down here got 13 goals throughout the season in his 37 appearances so not nearly as many but the goals did come from the chile international what a season he's had let's have a bit deeper look now and see who else has reached out for blackburn this season to go back to the main screen now of the championship you can see here straight away average ratings dominated by blackburn players assists again dominated by blackburn players player of the matches and even in clean sheets we've got third place there for Kimiski in goal for Blackburn this season. A very good season for Blackburn. Win the championship, dominating the league, some could say. Up to the Prem they go. And let's go and check out that next team within this tactic. So as we come back in now, Federico Madrid are the next team on the tactic test. Of course, not much of an underdog really, but teams like Barca, Real Madrid, Valencia, many, many more. They will be challenging for that like, league title this season. We've gone Atletico, of course they're the league champions in real life, so we thought we'll try it with them, just see how dominant they can be and if they can retain that La Liga title. Of course they're going to be up there for one of the favourites in the league this season, you can see on screen now, they are currently rated second, ahead of Barca, but behind Real Madrid, local rivals, so it would be interesting to see just how good they do this season within this tag team. And have a look. So we come back in now at the end of the season, of course Atletico Madrid have won the league, 13 points clear actually of Real Madrid in second place this season. Only losing three games that entire season and winning 30 out of 30 games. Jal Felix, you can see him there. 22 goals the entire season. Not a bad return, really, from the young striker. 22 years of age now. Bagged 22 goals within 32 appearances for the club this season. So he's had a good one. Luis Suarez is there as well. He got 17. Griezmann on 16. So a lot of goals are spread out between those front three players for Atletico Madrid this season. Looking around the league now, though, at the other stats as well, you can see here, of course. Another clean sheet one again. Yana Black got second within the clean sheets. Only being beaten by Citizen with one extra game there. So not a bad return for him. And of course, Thomas Lamar is on there as well for the assists. 11 assists throughout this season. Not a bad return from Lamar. Depending where he's playing this formation, you'd imagine with no actual attacking wingers on there. Maybe playing that sort of stroke role this season Lamar has maybe a little bit. Who knows? But a very good season for Atletico Madrid. But before we leave Atletico, we'll have a little bit of a deeper dive for you and have a look throughout the entire season. At the other position, obviously, Angle Correa, normally a winger for them. He's had 14 goals this season for 34 games as well. Nine assists for him. We've mentioned Lamar already. He's six goals and 12 assists as well. You see the assists here as well. Griezmann got 10 assists throughout that season as well. So, the versatility in that front line, these wingers playing inside this season as well, doing very, very good for them. You can see the fullbacks there. Lodi got 12 assists as well, which is great to see. So, assists coming throughout the pitch as well, fourth late this season. A big victory, 13 points clear of Real Madrid, dominating the league title. That's another league winner. Let's go see if there's any more, shall we? So we're back for our final team now in this tactic test. Today, we're looking at Nice. In league earn, obviously PSG dominate the league. Very similar to Bayern with the Leipzig one. So we want to see how close Nice can get to PSG. Or can they topple them? 
that would be even better, wouldn't it? Let's have a quick look. So, predicted this season, Nice are actually down in sixth place. So, you just see, can they break the top four? Or can they even double PSG for a league this season? Let's go and have a look. So, we've come back now at the end of the season. Of course, Nice came second in the league. I mean, there's seven points behind PSG, but it's always going to be a big ask to get ahead of PSG this season. In 38 games, they won 28 of those, drawing six, only losing four games all season. It's not a bad return for Nice, considering they're expected to finish outside that top four. And you can see a bunch of the goals there. I mean, Guri got 26 goals within those 38 appearances throughout the season. He played that many. You can see Sting's got the assist with 16 as well. I'm um, Arby's on there as well with 11 assists. With the clean sheets, Benitez in goal. He's up there with 18 clean sheets. I mean, all amongst the charts here, can't he? Play the matches, and Marvy's in there as well again. So, what a season for Nice, getting second in the league. But not only did they get second in the league, they won the French Cup, beating PSG in the final 1 0. That Guri goal in the 74th minute sees Nice win silverware within that season, knocking off PSG in the final as well. It's a massive success story for Nice, and this tactic has worked very, very well. So there we have it. You've seen the results now from this tactic brought to us by NAV today. If you want to download it, the link is down below. Go give it a go and let us know in the comments your results and make sure as always you subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. NAV will be doing tactic sessions on his stream. Check out NKang7 on twitch.tv forward slash NKang7 for his tactic lessons and tutorials for future streams. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.